I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today's build is the fan-requested Snow Ooh, Elf. Elf. Let's get started. I chose a High Elf since they are the closest relatives to the Snow Elves, and this also gives us the correct height. Use the lightest skin tone, white war paint and hair, and I like the blind eyes. Make your escape with Hadvar. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Then collect the sword. The garlic. Mage gear. And most importantly, a shield. Get the thief stone. Take Alva's valuables and garlic. Then sell your loot, and buy Frostbite from Lucan. If you chop and sell firewood to Hod, honest gold or honest work. you can get more garlic from his house. Harvest the cabbages, leeks and potatoes, and search barrels for tomatoes. Then Should speak with Sven. Stop inviting the elf over. But side with Feindal to earn truth. a follower. I appreciate your help. And some more garlic. You also want the treasure map. So you can get the bandit treasure. The enchanted items at the Shrine of Talos. Nordic barnacles at the wreck of the Silver Moon. And sunken barrow, and the flawless emerald. Cut down an east so you have somewhere safe to store your valuables. Then cast frostbite and the jumping salmon along the white river so you can collect salmon rope. Grab a brew at the meadery. Then pick some more vegetables and head into Whiterun. We'll be keeping an eye on you. You can get more garlic by making you friends with Carlotta. To stop chasing me. Go, go. Honest Hold up. For honest work. Severio Pelagia, Idolaf Battleborn, say, well met, friend. and Yarl Baldur. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Then make some vegetable soup. Pluck the barnacles from the moat and ride you down to Richard. Be sure to visit the Black Briar. Loot the chests in the guard towers. Get the amulet and blessing of Xenophar. Then head into town. Just let me unlock the gate. And give gold to a beggar. I can take a hint from Use the speech bonus to persuade Ungrian. bad about the meadery or the family. I'm a dead man. The jailer. My mistake. Sorry. You can go on ahead. 
Sapphire. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No, and we're more. speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Then sell any other loot you have. And start buying archery training with Fandal. Clearing out Fort Greenwall will help level your skills. And allow you to continue training archery. As well as add to your savings. If you clear out Red Belly Mine. And sell Grogmar some I'll iron ore. It will grant you access to the Orc stronghold. That you're to be trusted. You should be welcome there now. Take the wagon to Windhelm. Give gold to Angrenor. So you can take the garlic from the inn. Then get the well rested bonus. And return Viola's ring for Revan Sadri. Brew potions from garlic. Nordic Barnacles and Salmon Row, so you level up. Then a return to Revan. You to and trade your potions for speech training. Continue brewing potions. And training with Revan until you reach 50 speech. So you can get the Merchant Perk. Mosey on over to Markarth. Some say it was built by the dwarves. Then brew some more potions to level up. So you can train smithing with Gorza. Keep going until you reach 30 smithing. And can get the elven smithing perk. Then change to the warrior stone and buy a smithing item. To get a full set of Gilded Elven armor, along with the weapons and a Dwarven shield, you can either buy the items directly, or buy the raw materials and make them yourself. Either way, make sure you upgrade them when you're done. Go and bother Cal Selma. Then deal with this infestation. And collect the Dwemer metal. Enter the Dwarven Ruin. And discover the feral beings your once proud race has become. If you jump up the ledge to the side, you can directly access the control sublocation. This allows you to collect some Dwemer metal and complete the Lost Expedition quest with minimal Falmer casualties. Unfortunately, sometimes the stone scholarship is built on the foundation of death. Get a lift to Winterhold and charm Feralda. Ha! Huh. Humor is often in short supply here. I then join the college. Herb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. And start training destruction. Free you, deepest fathoms of her burden. Free me of my burden. Then harvest barnacles from Lake Honrick on your way to a Vunchen Zone. Dismantle the Dwemer and Amunculi. So you can collect filled soul gems and Dwemer metal. Then return to Lexicon to learn the secrets of the dwarves.
You can get more Dwemer Metal from Reachwind Irie. And the Dwarven Storm outside Mizolft. But the city itself is locked until late in the College Quests. Grab more barnacles from Lake Yorgrim. And more Dwemer Metal from Raldbathar. But only go as far as the Deep Market. Urkung Thand is also locked by the Thieves Guild quest. But Mazincha left is fair game. If you're feeling adventurous, you can sprint through Mazincha left depths and collect the two Fulmer helmets. You can also get another haul from the Alftand Ruin Tower. And the Glacial Ruins. Along with another Falmer Helmet. But don't take the plunge into the deeper sections just yet. Keep training Destruction on level up. Then buy Ice Spike. Frost Cloak and Ice Storm. Buy a bunch of iron, sure then thing. get the well rested Yours bonus, for a day. and the Dwarven Smithing Perk. Craft Dwarven Bows until you reach 70 smithing, then use your smithing item to upgrade the bows and reach 100 smithing. If you need more Dwemer Metal, Reachwind Irie and Understone Keep respawn every 10 days. Once you've trained to 60 Destruction, switch to training with Finnis until you reach 40 Conjuration. Then buy a Banish Weapon, and some levels in Enchanting. Change to the Mage Stone, then disenchant your enchanted items and use the filled soul gems you collected in the Dwarven Ruins to enchant the bows with Banish. You can sell the enchanted bows to Glover in Ravenrock and train light armor with Scout's many marshes in Windhelm. Then buy more filled petty, lesser and common soul gems and enchant more bows until you reach 100 enchanting. Gather more Salmon Row by casting Ice Storm at the Salmon Swimming near Windhelm, Dawnstar, and Soldier. The North Coast is also a great place to get more Nordic Barnacles. While revisiting your friends, and making Honest new ones in solitude will get you enough work. garlic. Honest pay for honest work. Buy an alchemy enchantment, and change to the thief stone. Then enchant a former helmet, circlet. Necklace, ring, and gloves with Fortify Alchemy. Using this gear, it won't take long to reach 100 alchemy. After training to 50 light armor, you can switch to training block with Chief Lorak. Harvest snowberries around Windhelm and Winterhold. Catch blue butterflies around White Run and Riften. Buy a blister wart from an alchemist. And pick glowing mushrooms from Shimmer Mist Cave.
Brew an enchanting potion from Blue Butterfly and Snowberry, then use it to enchant an improved set of alchemy gear. Use the new gear to brew three enchanting potions, then enchant a Falmer helmet and circlet with Fortify Alchemy, some clothes with Fortify Smithing, and a necklace, ring, and gloves with both Alchemy and Smithing. Then brew the rest of your ingredients into enchanting potions, and brew some smithing potions from Blisterwort and Glowing Mushroom, or Sprig and Sap. You can then enchant your elven armor and weapons, and upgrade everything, before parting ways with Feindol. I'll head back home if you need me. Begin your pilgrimage at the Temple of Mara. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? And help oh, bring her it? light across the land. I love you. It doesn't matter. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. Why Enlist in the Dawnguard. Then get the potions of cure disease from the Hall of the Vigilance. And assign the Lord Stone before trying your hand at slaying the vampire. That's Meet a strange lady. Complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. And escort her home. But stick to your guns and turn down Harkon. Bolster the ranks of the Dawn Guard. As as I, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. I'll see you at Fort Dawn Guard then. Don't worry, RK will show me the way. And hear the prophecy of oh, Oriel's bow. bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Then go through hell and back to recover the Elder Scrolls. That's it. That's the last scroll. And do what a moth priest can. Go and meet Great Uncle Gellibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry, Oriel. And begin the, the sacred pilgrimage of the Initiates. By following in the Initiates' footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. Pray for Oriel's blessing. <laughs> then enlighten the Falmer and Dark Four Passage and return to your ancestral home. Visit the Way Shrine. Is the Way Shrine of Sight. While also retrieving the Falmer texts. So bright out here. And the Paragons from the Snow Giant. Then behold the Temple of Oriel and complete your enlightenment. Inside the Chantry, place the ewer on the altar to the left and it will reveal a hidden chamber. Slay the Frost Giant. Then take back the Ruby Paragon and place it in the Paragon Portal. In the Forgotten Vale Forest, you'll find a Fulmer Warmonger, from whom you can retrieve Oriel's Shield. For every five attacks you block with Oriel's Shield, it will add one level of charge. After blocking 15 attacks, the shield will reach its maximum level of charge, and performing a Power Bash will then unleash the stored energy, knocking back your opponents. Have your audience with the Arch Curate himself. Then slay the Betrayer. And reveal the truth to Gelibor. Claim Oriel's bow. 
along with the ancient Falmer armor, and load up on sun hallowed arrows. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Once you've obtained Oriel's bow, Serene will have 200 elven arrows available for sale. Firing a sun hallowed arrow at the sun with Oriel's bow will unleash a short lived torrent of sunbeams. However, if you use the slow time shout, the rate of sunbeams doesn't slow down, but the duration of the storm is increased. The words are learned in Corvangion. Hag's End. and Labyrinthian. Let's discuss our wardrobe for a moment. I was asked to use the Jagged Crown for this build, which can be obtained by first enchanting some gear with Pickpocket, then Welcome joining the Legion, the Legion and finding it in Corvangion. Reverse Pickpocket the Crown onto Hadvar, then turn in the quest to Tullius my doubts had even existed. and pickpocket it back from Hadvar. Alternatively, you could just wear a circlet. Otherwise, the elven helmet and former helmet can be used to get the armor bonus from the matching set perk. There's also the Dukan mask if you want to boost the damage of your frost spells, which can also be worn with the jagged crown. Whatever wardrobe you decide on, use your leftover potions to enchant your new armor and upgrade everything. Show off the bow to Isran, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Then bring the light to Castle Volkaha and end the vampire menace. Have a word with Brynjolf. Blood elixir for sale. Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. Then Don't infiltrate the thieves' guild. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So you can learn of their dastardly He's plans. going after the eyes of the farmer. You can brute force your way through the missions. And use a low morality follower to do the actual thieving. That it. The questline offers you several opportunities to learn more about your race. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Town. And you can also get Chilren from Mercer's House, which is an excellent fit for this build. You will need to get the glassmithing perk if you want to upgrade it though. Then track Mercer to Urkenthand. Visit Swift Justice upon him. and reclaim the eyes of the former. If you're the marrying type, I suggest Tyri. You'll have to invest in her store, and wear the Radiant Raiment fine clothes to the Blue Palace before she'll accept the proposal. Then you can search the Moser Ring for the Tomb of the Snow Prince, finally claim Magnus's eye from Sarful, Erase the last remnants of the dwarves. And take back your homeland and your world. Well, that's it for this build. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel, leaves a comment, or likes the videos. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.